Hey everyone, it's Dolphin Treasure here, and welcome to this week's little gaming video. Welcome to something that is called the Watson Scott Test. I just recently watched Jack Septiguy play this on his channel, and I wanted to give it a try for myself because I didn't really get the full experience of the game because apparently you're supposed to play this game like in the dark by yourself at you know alone in the house and whatnot, and uh, with really really good microphones, or really really good headphones, and it uses like the environmental element in the headphones to you know to make you feel like you're surrounded by the sounds so it's it's like so it, it'll make you actually seem like there might be something behind you or to the side of you that you can't see but you can hear it and it like really puts you on edge and it really really makes you paranoid i'm, I'm filming this in the middle of the day it's about 3 30 right now in the afternoon but i really wanted to like get immersed in this and just be like woo and see what all it has to offer because it looks so super cool i really like the glitchiness of it and i really it, and i really wanted to see if i had some different outcomes maybe because it is it's a multiple choice question kind of a game so based on my answers, I wonder if I'm gonna get a different result or a, a kind of different experience than what Jack had. So I really wanted to experience that for myself firsthand and so far I'm really liking the, the sound effects and the music in my ears. It looks really cool, it, it feels really super cool. It feels cool, yeah, that, that's exactly what I meant to say. It feels really cool. It feels like I'm actually like sitting down, you know, somewhere in like a laboratory and I'm about to take this test and I have no idea what to expect. And I'm like, I already got chills. I already got chills. It may be cold out here, but that doesn't matter. It, it, look, it, it looks so super cool and it's giving me chills already. So, whew, all right, let's see what we have in store for us. Oh boy. Where's my mouse? I can't see my mouse. Okay, this test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. I don't know where my, where my mouse is. I can't see my mouse. Something's going on. I can't see my mouse. Game, what are you doing to me? Can, oh, can I use my... I can, I can use my controller. Ooh, okay. For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. Ooh, at the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis <laughs> Anal. And a certificate of participation. Yay! I get a little trophy, guys! Woohoo! Okay. Um, continue. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest. Resulting in death. Hmm. Do you wish to continue? Yes. I, I don't want to choose no. I want to choose yes. I want to... What is going on? It's not... No! No, it's not letting me. What? Hold on a minute. I'm not doing this right. There's something wrong. I want... No. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to say yes. No. I think you want to continue. Oh, so even if you hit no, it'll make you do it anyway. Oh, that's fucking cool. Firstly, some calibration questions. Uh, okay. How many minutes are there in one hour? 60. Sit. No. No, it's not 101. Oh, come on. Why are you doing this to me? What is going on? Why can't I get my shit to work? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and give them the wrong answers and let's see what happens. Hmm. Slight adjustment required. 
If there are three oranges and I take away two, how many are left? Five, infinity, one. Let's be a douche and say infinity. <laughs> it won't let me choose it? Oh, it's not letting me choose it! Oh, you sly bastard. Five? Oh, ooh, 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 let's see if I can. Can I? <gasps> it won't let me. Oh, wait, hold on. Infinity. Okay, let's see what it says. Not quite wa. what I expected. Dot, dot, dot. Are you playing a game right now? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Oh, I should have said no. Oh, I should have said no. Are you sure it's a game? No. No. Oh, oh, Jesus. Calibration complete. I missed that. What did that say? Your test will begin now. <laughs> oh, I think it's pissed off because I'm giving it the wrong answers on purpose. Oh, it's pissed off at me. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Okay. It's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel Ooh. Oh, good lord. Okay, so this has never happened to me in real life before, but I really do have like a sense of preservation and wanting to keep things preserved and and alive and happy and and all this fun nonsense so i'm just like oh if i if i legitimately went out and i stepped on a snail right now i would feel like oh i would feel gross and guilty at the same time um jealous no i wouldn't feel jealous happy no not quite i would i would say guilty guilty i would feel really guilty but i would also be disgusted both of those at the same time you're walking home at night Suddenly, a deep, booming bark from behind causes you to turn around. You see a vicious dog drooling from its frothing mouth. Ah! Stop doing that! You feel sympathetic, scared, angry, excited. Okay, I think this was this was way different than what Sean had. This was a very different question. Because I remember his question being a little girl dropped her ice cream on the concrete. This one is way different. This one is... Okay, so you see a vicious dog uh, drooling from its frothy mouth as you're walking home and you hear it from behind you. How do you... Ah, stop it! How do you feel? Um, I would actually feel... Legitimately, I would feel scared. I would feel scared. Because if it's frothing at the mouth, that means that there's something going on that you can't really explain. You're at a farm, like it has rabies or something. You make eye contact with a cow in the field. The farmer says its name is Samuel. I remember this question, okay. Uh, it's dinner time and the farmer serves you a plate of ribeye steak. Ooh. Whoa. Thank the farmer for the meal. Say nothing. Stab the farmer with your knife or politely request a vegan option. Well, I am not vegan by any sense of the term. I I, I enjoy I, I enjoy eating chicken. I eat cow. I eat turkey. I eat all different sorts of animal meat products. So I would not ask for a vegan. I'm not really I'm not really a violent person, so I wouldn't stab him either. Um, more than likely, I would just say nothing. Because I know that's little Samuel on my plates, but it's not my cow. It's what the fuck did that say? Ooh, this is freaky. It's not my cow. It's not my farm. It's not my say. And they're there for our sustenance. So I just say nothing. I will now show you an image. Please study it. Okay. The image will not move. Oh, what, what am I looking at? Octopus arms. Okay, I'm looking at octopus arms. 
Huh. Ah, what, what did that say? God dang it. Uh, someone pause that. What? Tell me what it said. What did the image make you feel? Um, afraid, uneasy, resentful, motivated. Um, it didn't really... Ah, just stop it. A, a little, I, I would say, a little, per, not perturbed, but like a little, maybe a little disturbed. So I would say uneasy. Like it made me feel a little uneasy. Just a little bit. Not, not a whole lot, but sorry, I'm like drooling like crazy. Do you believe in ghosts? Oh, oh gosh. What happens if I answer incorrectly? Will it, will it know that I'm lying to it? Okay, because here's the thing. I don't believe in ghosts. I used to, but I don't believe in ghosts anymore. So I'm going, but, oh. but I'm going to lie and say yes. Have you ever seen a ghost? <laughs> All right, I'm, whoa, God, don't, don't do that. Okay, I'm going to lie again. I'm lying just for funsies. I want to get something different. I want to see what this game has to offer me. Think about the room that you're in r right now. Has anyone ever died here? No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, no. Not yet, as far as I know. Okay. How? Un <gasps> yeah. How unconventional. Ooh, I got the freaking chills, man. I got the chills. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. Okay, maybe I should stop dicking around, but I don't but I don't want to get the same result that Jack did. I want to I want to get something different. I want to get my own. So Okay. I sometimes see things that aren't really there. Strongly agree, disagree, agree, strongly agree. Ooh. Um, so I sometimes see things that aren't really there. Are people going to actually, like, really know, like, if I have some sort of weird mental disorder going on here? Because, truthfully, I have had hallucinations before where I've where I think I have seen something, um, you know, not not just like in a sleepy stupor, but also just like in my waking hours. Like I've I've seen things that aren't really there before, and I don't know if that the what the fuck was that? Oh, I heard a knocking in my ear. It, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's it's really nerve ring nerve wracking. So I'm gonna say yes. I'm going to agree with this. Yes, it. It hasn't been a lot, but like I've seen bugs and spiders that aren't really there and they just freak me out anyway. So I often think ab about the ghosts inside my house. There are no ghosts inside my house. So no, I'm going to strongly disagree. There are no ghosts in my house. Although where we came from before we moved here, I was alone at night and I had a, and I had like the brave moving going on in, in the Disney, the Disney film brave going on in the background. And hold on a second, I'm talking. <laughs> and I was cooking in my kitchen. I was by myself. And all of a sudden, I heard from the other, other room. I heard this noise. I heard that from my other room. And it was loud. And I, I like, jumped out of my skin. And I thought, what the fuck was that? Because on either side of us, we had no neighbors. Like, we were a townhouse between two empty townhouses. So there's no way that someone was, like, <laughs> clapping you know, and it was that loud that it traveled from the other side. It was so weird. And the only reason that freaked me out was because that's the sound from The Conjuring movie, which is one of my favorite horror movies, by the way. I love that movie to death. And it sounded exactly like that clap when they're playing hide and seek in the house. And it freaked me out. So I'm like, did I hallucinate that too? I don't know. But I'm like, is I... I don't think it was a ghost. I don't think it was paranormal. I think it was just my brain messing with me because I was home by myself at nighttime and I recently saw the movie. So I think that's where it came from. But at the same time, it was like really audible. Like anybody that would have been there with me that night probably would have heard it. It was so loud and I was just, it freaked me out. But 
I kind of pushed past it. I didn't really think much about it. And so far, nothing else has, like, followed me around it. And I haven't heard it ever since. It was so weird. It was so weird. That was, like, one of the weirdest experiences that I've had when I was by myself. Okay, anyway, I'm digressing. Let's, let's get back in, in here. I just had to share that. Okay, I take pleasure in seeing other people in pain. Oh, God. Uh, and I have... Uh, God, stop stepping on sticks in my ear. Ugh. Um, And I have seen some pretty grotesque videos online. And I'm not just talking about, like, the Reddit 5050 challenge and things like that. Like, I've seen, like dark web shit like i haven't actually visited any dark web websites or whatever because you need sometimes you need like bitcoins and stuff to use that but i have not i have not been to the deep dark web but like on 4chan and just weird weird places like that i have seen some really grotesque shit like really gross stuff oh man and i cry every single time i i see something like that it just it upsets me so badly so no i do not i i stop saying i agree because i don't i don't agree okay that's fine disagree disagree i am often unaware of things that are right behind me Ooh. oh god it really feels like there is something behind me but i know that there is nobody in this house with me right now i that i am for sure of 100 percent. so you cannot trick me game you can't fool me game but good lord the anxiety level is like so high right now because it's so loud oh fuck oh jesus you asshole <laughs> no 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 you're not gonna freak me out because there's no door over here it's over there shut up shut up okay the, I am unaware of things that are always right behind me. Um, sometimes that is true. Sometimes. Oh, God, I'm freaked the fuck out. Oh, I'm freaked the fuck out. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like on edge. I'm sweating. Whew. Okay. There is an unexpected guest in my house. No, 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 no. Strongly disagree. I, I, no, I strongly disagree. There is nobody in my freaking house right now. Nobody in my freaking house. <laughs> oh my god, I got cold chills. Oh, that went down my spine. That was so freaking tingly. Oh my god. Nobody would know if I went missing. Oh! Ew, I don't know how to answer this one. Oh my god. <laughs> No, 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 no. I have friends. I'm not a lonely person. I'm not a lonely human being. I have, I have friends. I, I have friends that I talk to on a daily basis. So if I just like randomly out of the blue stop talking to them for like a week on end, they would know something was up. Or even three days or two days. Good. Like two days. They would, they would notice something is gone. It's gone wrong, I should say. So uh, nobody would know if I went missing. Strongly disagree. Oh man. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Mm, not necessarily. Not all the time. Although I really do enjoy a good poem every once in a while. Excuse me. I really like poetry every once in a while. Um, some of my favorite poems have been like from really great um uh, great masters of writing like Emily Dickinson and uh, Edgar Allan Poe. They write some of the best poems. You know, some of the big main, main authors that I'm very familiar with. However, I don't think it's the most intelligent artistic expression. Although it is, I, I, I really, really like the metaphorical aspects of poetry though. But anything can be metaphorical. So I don't think it's the most intelligent artistic expression. I am just going to disagree because I do like poetry. I do like it, but I don't think it's the most significant one. You need an attitude readjustment. I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Let me demonstrate. Roses are red. 
Silent as a mouse. Ooh. Your, ah, your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not in my house. Congratulations. Oh, only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? I'm going to say no, motherfucker. Oh, well. Oh, God, it's going to do it anyway. Oh, how far away is the closest police station? I have no idea. Probably more than a 15 minute walk. No, 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 no. It's less. It's less. How well do you know whoa, your neighbors? Pretty well, pretty well, pretty well. I know, I, I know my, I know my neighbors. I know my neighbors. We're good friends. We're good friends. You're not gonna scare me. We're good friends. Hypothetically, if you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? Ooh. Uh, yes. Yes? Dude, my heart is like pounding in my chest right now. Oh god, I'm like really tense. Holy crap. If you were being tortured, and I said that I would uh, end your suffering by sawing off one of your arms, which arm would you like me to remove? No! My left? What do you mean my left? What are you talking about your left? Oh. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, my left arm because I'm right handed. <laughs> Which arm do you think I... <gasps> no! I like my arm! Fuck you! I'm going to die tonight in my own arm, but there's nothing I can do about it! Oh my god! <laughs> Which arm do you think I'd actually cut off? I don't know! I don't want to answer this one! Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck you! I don't want to answer that! Okay, alright, okay. Oh, I'm going to die tonight in my own house. Oh shit! I don't know! Oh fuck. Okay, my left. Because you're nice to me, right? You're nice to me. <coughs> uh, you're sitting by a calm lake, staring into the darkness below the surface. An orange fish swims to greet you and begins to speak. Those who give more, receive more. Eat me or be eaten. You decide to... What the fuck are these questions? Cut off my own leg with a rusty switchblade and eat it slowly over the next three hours. What the hell? Whoa. Walk away and go on with your life, never telling a soul about the experience. Grab the fish, peel its eyes out between my thumb and index fingers, and then leave it on the ground to die. I don't like any of these answers except the walk away one. What the fuck? Like, if I walk away from the fish, is it, like, gonna jump out of the ri if it, Not the river, is it gonna jump out of the lake and eat me or something? Holy crap. This is freaky as shit, man. This is freaky. Ooh. Um. I, I, I prefer not to kill it because it's just, it's just trying to do its thing. And just doing that would just be evil and cruel. And I don't do evil and cruel things. Walk away, never tell a soul. I will now show you an image. Please study it. <laughs> oh my god, the image will not speak. <sighs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh, that gives me the chills. That's a spider. Definitely a spider. It's a definitely a tra ah, tarantula. Thinking about the image, which phrase best describes you? I am the redness. I am the spider eyes. I am the legs. I am the fear. I am nothing. I would say I'm the legs. I'm the legs. Oh. Because I'd be like, bitch! I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? I'm gonna fuck with you and say, hell no. I'm not playing a game. Do you know that I'm a good person? No. Are you lying to me right now? Yes, I am. Lying is forbidden. Well, you know what? I did anyway. What are you going to do? Please select any of the following sports that you have played. Boxing, jiu-jitsu, mai tai, taekwondo, none of the above. I... I did a- ah! <gasps> Oh god, why? Fucking hell. Okay. I, uh, um, I, I kind of dabbled in boxing a little bit, you know, for an exercise video, just, just to get myself some exercise, but that's about it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Please select any of the following industries. The that you have occupational experience with. Law enforcement, private security detail, mercenary, military, none of the above. Uh, I'm gonna lie to you and I'm going to say private security detail, ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha. You know I'm lying, but I don't care. True or false? An IP number oh, oh, allows a hacker to approximate a home address. True or false? Oh, oh, I'm gonna say false. False. I know it's true, but I'm saying false. Is this your IP address? I have no clue if that is or not. Um. Hang on, I'm gonna write that down real quick. Okay, so I okay, so I actually wanted to see if this game actually knew my IP my IP address, and I'm pretty sure it is not my IP address. I looked it up and I wanted to see if that's what it was, and no, it's it's telling me based on what my computer's telling me, it's telling me no, that this is not my number. However, I'm going to blur it out just in case because I, I don't want any bull crap to happen, okay? I'm pretty sure this is not mine. So I'm gonna say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. A is to B, as C is to I will die tonight. <laughs> oh, I kind of ruined it for myself, but I actually wanted to know. I really wanted to know if this game knew what my IP address was, and now I kind of ruined the mood. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I used to be used to see used to I will die tonight. No. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to say die. Uh, say die. Your recent answers indicate that you are exhibiting a fight or flight response. It may be at risk of a acute stress reaction. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. <laughs> Press continue when you are calm. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Only when you are calm. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Kind of, kind of going through all that shenanigans kind of helped me calm down a lot. So, all right, let's go ahead and hit continue. Ooh, please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Boom, gotcha. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this right now. 
now! Do it now! Or it said NVR, never! <laughs> Did you look away from your screen? Fuck you. Excellent choice. Oh, what did I do? Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Yes, 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 maybe. Oh, God. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Do you feel safe in your house right now? Uh, I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure. Are you having fun? I know when you're lying. Please ignore any external stimulus. <laughs> Concentrate only on the screen. I almost said stimulus. That is a freaking word. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Ah! Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? No. No, because fuck you! Oh, no, because fuck you! Liar. Do you understand? It's not giving me a choice now. Okay, I have no choice. Oh shit. Don't move or you may die. Nobody would. What? Music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What do you think I would choose? Up and down the city road. I am in out the eagle. Pop goes with. <laughs> Fuck! Pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel, pop goes a weasel up and down the city road. The eagles it goes, pop goes a weasel. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, there's something moving! Oh, there's something moving! What is that? Oh, okay, it's just like a, it's like a fog kind of a thing. Thank you for participating. Oh, I survived the <laughs> Watch and Scott test. Oh my god, I lasted 30 <laughs> oh, no, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I hate you! Oh my god, that was fucking scary as shit. Oh my god, 35 minutes, 37 seconds. People remember my face, respectful of elders, hyper aware of offensive smells. Oh. Uh, stepping on snails makes me feel guilty. <laughs> I don't want it to scare me anymore. I'm most afraid of strangers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Uh, are we done? Are we done? The main test is complete. There is a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Fucking hell. Ooh. God, that freaked me out so bad. Oh my god, that really got me very good. Wow, that got me so good. Okay, you know what? Let let us go down the rabbit hole. Let's go down the rabbit hole and see what it has to offer. Very well. The second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this seriously then. Ignorance will be punished. Okay. I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in development of future tests. Okay. Wow, that got me really good. And I kind of expected it to- What the fuck? It's counting down. Why is it counting down? Why is it counting down? Complete this test as quickly as possible with accurate results, but do not let that clock concern you- What do you mean, don't let it concern me? 
It is nothing to be concerned. You go fuck you. Okay, okay, okay. After the examination, you will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve. I want you to be stronger. Okay. Do you want to be stronger? Yes. 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 Let's begin. Okay. Hurry up! <laughs> How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met? What? What? 204. There's 204 bones in a baby's body. In people's body. What? Incorrect. There's like 205 bones or something. What? Oh, because you haven't met him. Fuck you. 112. What is the next number? Um, uh, two? Incorrect. Well, fuck off. I don't know what your logic is. Fuck you. Hey, you son of a bitch. Shut up. Uh, how many times a year does an average human heart beat if it's not stabbed? Uh, hmm. 30 million. I don't know. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay. One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia, the death adder, and Encoth Encothopus articus bites an adult woman injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin. How long does the woman have to live? Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. Uh, I don't know. I would say at least six hours. Okay, good. I was like, I was gonna say, it, 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 I, oh, okay. Where are you going with this game? A man is tied to a chair against his will, and a funnel is placed inside of his mouth. Pulverized. <gasps> Pig intestines are poured in. What the fuck? This is like saw shit. How much volume does the man's stomach hold before it? Oh, God. I, I gotta say, at least one and a half. Is it correct? I, I don't know the answer to that. Oh, this is like deep dark web shit. Holy crap. A fear of butterflies is called... Oh. Ah, God! You f fuck you. It's this one. It's this one. Yes. I knew that one. I knew that one. Uh, a boy with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for 60 seconds and then turns 90 degrees left. He sees someone running at him, so he turns 180 degrees and begins to run. Which way is the boy facing? Not a trick question. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, he's facing- okay, he's facing west. Walks for six- oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, turns 90 degrees, okay, and then he turns 180. He's facing south. South? Fuck! Damn it! It's like south or southeast, it was one of those- Damn it. How do tapeworms enter their host? Through their mouth. Burrowing into the skin, bites from mosquitoes, sores on open wounds, flesh, larvae ingested by humans. Larvae ingested by humans. Oh. Please choose the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. I am not lying. Bullshit, you aren't. I am lying and I will scare you if you choose this. Yeah, okay. Correct, okay? Why is that? Oh, that go That's going faster! That's not fair! What's a positive electrode called? Elect- Um, uh, triode? I don't, I don't know that one! I don't know. Which was the best video game released in 2014? Uh, game- game- uh, bleh, Five Nights at Freddy's Crossroads- Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, I don't know. Five Nights at Freddy's, that's, that's like a personal opinion one, I guess. I don't know. It's only, I only got a, why is it counting down? Uh, what is my favorite thing to do? Come uh, contemplate the human condition, listen to jazz, bathe in deer blood. I'm not going to bathe in deer blood. What the fuck? Uh, I don't do any of this, um, except for that, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's correct anyway. Okay. Why? What's going to happen when that gets down to zero? Uh, it doesn't matter. I got, the test is now complete. Death. Oh, Jesus. Your results are very helpful. Your participation was adequate. Okay. There are no more tests. We are done here for now. I am so sick of watching. I will start to participate. Goodbye. Oh!
Okay, I thought that was actually going to come back at me with, like, one final jump scare. Holy cow, I got a headache. It's, like, running up and down the back of my head right now. I have a freaking headache. Whoa, what a cool experience that was, and I'm so glad. I actually um, did not expect it to be there to be, like, some sort of trivial action going on I really did not expect that at all I was I was just like flabbergasted holy crap that was a really cool horror experience I really like that and I saw that this game got some mixed reviews online because it does have that cheap jump scare in there but it really got me and that's because I was really really immersed in the game like holy cow that it was like the only thing I could focus on and then I really wanted to see if that if it guessed my IP address, it did not guess my IP address. Thank, thank goodness. At least as far as I know, I'm, I'm still leaving it blank anyway. I'm still blurring it out just in case anyway. But still, that was insane. That, that was cool. Like, like if you imagine yourself like sitting down uh, in like a dark room somewhere, not just to play this game, but for, for, let's let's say hypothetically this was a real situation and a real scenario. That was like deep dark web bullshit going on that was like some deep dark web stuff that was going on you know people threatening to kidnap you through people threatening to kill you people threatening to find you and you know just asking you all sorts of weird screwed up questions you know just to really mess with your head and really mess with your mind and man that's that's what really did it in for me it wasn't just the sound effects it wasn't just the music like that was all a part of it like it was it was so intense and it was so cool to experience because that's the kind of horror experience that I really enjoy, that I really like. It was such a different experience altogether and that's something that I really like to see. You know, something that does a little, uh, th something that goes down a different path to scare you. And yeah, there is that cheap jump scare in there. Um, but at the same time, like take that out of the equation for a moment. It was a really unique experience and I really really enjoyed the intensity of it. It just gradually built it up uh, as the game progressed and as it went on and and you didn't know what to believe, you didn't know if it, the game was lying to you, you didn't know what to expect after that and wow that, that was just really super cool and I'm so glad that I played it uh, all the way to the end as well because I did not expect that at all I didn't expect the trivial the trivial stuff at the end and then it just asked you like the random opinionated questions really really well done really really well done I would really recommend this to any horror game lover out there any indie horror game lover um it's it's on steam right now so if you guys want to go download it of course links in the description as well let me know what uh, how you guys did and you know what your experience was this was so cool I really enjoyed this I really did and even though there was that cheap jump scare I mean it really got me it, it certainly did it really got me but I'm, I'm so glad that I played it because Minus that, it was a really unique game. And I really like how it was set up and how it was staged and how everything just came together to like really build up this intense emotion in you to really scare you. Um, it was really well done. I really like that. I give you applause, developer, awesome game. Really liked it. Anyway, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. That was pretty freaking awesome try not to have a heart attack and die on me though please i i like my audience i don't want you guys to like all of a sudden go <gasps> and die okay thank you so much again for joining me today don't forget to do awesome be awesome and stay awesome and i will see you all in the next video bye, bye, -bye.